not going to hurt you, little jellyfish. I just want to keep you in a jar on top of my television. I'm going to chase you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Oh, you're a cute one, and you, and I'm going to chase you all. Buddy Nostalgia Scott coming at you guys with a brand new Let's Play. One that you guys actually voted for. And substantially won. I thought for a second when I put this game up I couldn't actually play it because I was like, oh, frig, I forgot. It was an Xbox Gold game and I don't have gold. <laughs> but, um, no, no. I can, I can still do it. So we have Spongebob's Truth or Dare for the Xbox 360. And we'll be going to... we'll do three, that way I don't get them mixed up by accident. But yeah, I gotta turn down the volume because this is loud, but you know. Oh Gary, I'm so excited! I can't believe tomorrow is the 117th anniversary of the Krusty Krab! Meow. That's right, Gary! Mr. Krabs is letting me have the party at my pineapple! He's letting me pay for everything, too. Isn't he right? Meow. SpongeBob, look sharp, me boy! Tomorrow's a very important day! For Cashy! Think of all the Krabby Patties we'll sell! Uh, Mr. Krabs, shouldn't the secret formula be in a safe place? Good thinking, lad! Here! Take the formula and put it somewhere safe. Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs. I won't let you down. Hey, Patrick. What are you doing here? Mr. Krabs hired via security for the big event. That... Oh, no. Patrick, where did I put the formula? I can't remember. Did you look in your pocket? It's not there. Oh, hey, hey. Maybe it's in my pocket. Nope. Okay, SpongeBob, don't panic. I can feel my normally carefree and jovial attitude dissolving away! What does that mean? It means I'm sad, and when I'm sad, I can't remember anything! Patrick, we need to find that formula before you know who does. P L A N K P O N. Plankton, how long have you been there? Long enough to know you're in big trouble. <laughs> Well, SpongeBob, seeing as we are friends, um, it seems only right that I help you remember where you put the formula. Oh, that would be so nice of you, Plankton. I'd love your help. Hey, wait a minute. How do I know you're not just trying to get the formula all for yourself? Um, my honest face? Then okay, let's find that formula. Okay, let's review, shall we? Step one, strap sleeping SpongeBob into chair, check. Step two, shrink bots, check. Step three, do laundry, I mean insert bots into brain, check. Step four, turn on remote, check and double check. Now with this control, I'll guide my precious nanobots into the deepest recesses of SpongeBob's tiny mind, where I will extract from his memory banks the precise location of the Krabby Patty secret formula once and for all. It couldn't be easier. <laughs> okay, change of plans. I will now enter SpongeBob's brain and find the formula myself. Okay, so it looks like we're at a party, so let's see if we can change the options. Look at all them fancy doodads. Look at the pretty sliding. Alright, I think that should be good enough, right? Oh yeah, that's way better. So how do we jump? We can't jump, we can... Bonus content. Oh, bonus Rainbow. content, yay! Well, I think they're overrated. 
Hey, Patrick, what's up, buddy? So let me get this straight. The only way you're going to remember where you put the formula is if you're happy. Uh, that's my key story. Seriously, SpongeBob, how hard can it be to make you happy? Oh, wait a second. Remember when we went jellyfishing? That made you happy. Wow, Patrick, I feel happier already. We've struck a memory gusher. Let's dig deeper. Yeah, so this game is all based off of memories. What creatures ate SpongeBob's house? Nematodes. I was watching um, Mind Pop's newest video, and they said nematode, like the nematodes episode was their favorite, and, the, and they said it was episode one. No, that's not episode one. Those are um, anchovies. I don't remember all these robots when we were jellyfishing. Of course they were there. You probably just didn't notice them, what with all the fun you were having. Yeah, you're right, Plankton. We probably just didn't notice them. You don't need special training to perform the spatula slam. Just press the X button. Okay. Excuse me, but you seem to oh, now you can jump. Way. Okay. I still gotta turn down the uh, option or the volume a little bit. Here's the volume control. He can turn it up when we say R. There we go. That'll be better. Uh, teleport boxes. Yeah, these are like your checkpoints. And you got sponge boob coins every time you smash a crate. I love how I call them sponge boob though. Man, I remember saying boob on this one Twitter post and people were like, this has nothing to do with women's anatomy. And I'm like, y you do realize boob is an insult to call somebody dumb, right? Like, people are so unaware it's not even funny. Oh, there's a bunch of jellyfish locked up behind a cage. Interesting. Beat all of the enemies to open up the door. Okay. Alright. This sounds easy enough. Ooh, a one-up. Not bad. Ah, you'll go home. Collect more lives. Okay. Underpants are your health, which seem to be the case for every Spongebob game ever made. I can't believe I got hit there. That was just dumb. Double kill. Wasn't that glorious? Robot Reductionist. Oh, I thought I couldn't collect that for a second. I was like, I want that one up. Thank you very much. This is actually a pretty good looking 360 game, honestly. Especially since I'm playing it on the series uh, SX, where, like, it, uh, you know, it's, like, backwards compatible, like, to the very first Xbox. So you, you never know, like, what it'll look like. Plus, some games don't uh, do backwards compatibility worth a darn or at all. How do I get up there? Oh, um, never mind. I know how we get up there. We need the jellyfish over here. There's still more robots to destroy. Thank you, Mr. Fish Anchorman. Uh, hammer? You're using a spatula. And there we go. We unlock the door, which then frees these jellyfish, which we can use as a platform. Oh, God, there's a skeleton in there. How long was he trapped in there for? My lord. Jump on the giant jellyfish. Yay! Oh, I just killed a... Well, I killed that guy more than he was already dead. Ground round. ground round? So, a, a patty joke? That's cool. Oh, looks like we can get this one up if we don't destroy these. Yeah, don't always destroy these little box things. Also, if you ever notice, they do reuse a lot of assets in Cosmic Shake from Battle for Bikini Bottom, but I believe it's supposed to be a direct sequel. And this game, I think, is kind of a sequel, too. That'll put a little spring in your Ooh, step. I want to grab all those, because I believe you use these to unlock other things throughout the game. I think cosmetics, or it might be upgrades. I don't remember. But I remember you wanting to collect as many coins as humanly possible. But what do we got going on over here? Cutscene time? Yep. Okay, so we need to destroy the robots to unlock that cage. Almost a double kill. In that video game where, though, you would get kills, that would count as a double kill, because they were immediately, but just not at the exact same time, which is kind of sad, but 
I'll take it. No, no, you do not see the button under here. I don't know what you're talking about, but... Boom. And the enemies do get more difficult, but the issue I have with a lot of Spongebob games, including the newest one, is that they just reuse the same enemies like a dozen times, and it's just like, oh, okay. Finding the same thing throughout the game. Luckily, the game itself is cool, because we get to go through, like, jellyfish fields and everything like that, which is just... You get to go through a lot of iconic places throughout the Spongebob series, which is pretty cool. And you are the last robot, my buddy. Thank you. Pardon me, ma'am. It's a robot. I don't think robots have genders, but sure. There are not more robots to destroy. What are you talking about? What's this for? Oh, it's the back button? I don't know. Alright, and this will move this. Alright, so it just created a platform. Yeah, you'll be noticing this a lot throughout the game where you do things like this. It's fine, don't get me wrong. I believe these platforms disappear when you're on them for too long, at least I think. There we go. Oh, we freed the jellyfish. Oh, they're gonna create another platform, because that's how jellyfish work, right? They just... Yeah, hop on the big jellyfish. I know, Mr. Dude, I've done this before. We literally just did it. All oh, those platforms, the weighted ones. We've seen that in our Spyro 2 Let's Play that we did, and lots of other games. It's not a new concept at all. Oop. Stop swimming so fast! I've only got five legs, and one of them's my head! Swimming? Uh, what do you mean? Also, where'd the jar go? Oh. Okay, so we create a platform. Wait, weird question, but do, do these actually disappear or not? I don't think they actually do disappear. Never mind. Weird. We got three up, though, for literally doing nothing. Yeah, that's actually a good question, SpongeBob. I don't actually know. Oh, wait, what's this? You need to complete the level before you can accept the challenge for five lives? Five lives is a really weird uh, challenge area. That's something this game's gonna do. Is it gonna have like little challenges where you need to beat the game in order to get everything? Or not beat the game, but beat the levels. Alright, and this should open up a pathway over here. Which way do we wanna go? I think we wanna go this way. So we'll go this way first. I do believe you do have to find Patrick in every level as well. Oh god, those are those are very, very pixelated. Also, this looks suspicious. Oh, it's just for a one-up. Okay. Yeah, you need to find Patrick in every level. He's wearing a police hat. You found Patrick sleeping. Try to find one in each level. Yeah, to get 100%, you're going to need to do that. Also, why are there jellyfish here? I never technically summoned them here, but thanks. I don't think you can jump up there any further, so we can continue on. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat one level per episode or what, because some of these levels in this game are pretty darn lengthy. Oh. We, we got our typical slide part of a level. Man, for the PS3, uh, Xbox 360 era, you thought those would have been done since that was like a PS2, Xbox era thing, you know? My control. Wait, did he just stop talking or something? My controller glitching out. It's like, a lot of time my controller doesn't like to play audio properly, and it's annoying. Oh yeah, I believe that's invincibility, that power-up right there. Oh, he does just stop talking. Also, I just abruptly stopped attacking, too. Weird. Every now and then, he just stops attacking, and there's this little fly that keeps flying in my face. Because they eat, like, plants, and my, my family has, like, a bunch of plants growing around the house, and they just get annoying. I heard Gary. I heard Mr. Maru. Oh, I want to get every single coin humanly possible. Thank you. I almost have all the achievements in this game, too. I did beat the game, just never got all the collectibles. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. More robots. 
It doesn't say that we have to kill all the robots, though, so... I don't know. They are worth money, though. I keep saying though a lot. You guys should have a though counter for however, ma however many times to say though. Okay, looks like we're gonna need jellyfish for that. So, we'll grab this power-up, even though the game never stated what the heck it was. Apparently Spongebob is gay, according to the lore. I don't think this invincibility really does much for us, because... Don't punch me. Thank you. This is a really weird ship, by the way. Like, this doesn't feel like a ship to me. Oh, looks like we got some hardcore parkour. Not really. I don't think they need a cutscene every time you hit a switch, though. Like, let's be honest here. It just slows down the pacing of the game. Also, d does that one really need to go up and down? Jellyfish don't have hives. Jellyfish are literally, like, made of, like, 99% water. Hey, Mr. Skeleton. That's not very nice. It's, I guess it's, like, Saturday at the very end of the day, and it's almost Sunday, so the week's almost over. Hey, there we go, we freed the jellyfish, it looks like. Alrighty, let's continue on. I really do like the Spongebob games, though. Out of all the licensed video games, Spongebob has to be some of my favorite. Oh, we're at a cave. Find a way to drop the jars from the ceiling to free the jellyfish. Oh yeah, and then we need, um... You don't have enough muscles. You need to get more buff. Yeah, there's, there's the power. And you keep it until you take damage, by the way. Kind of an interesting car. It's this one right here. It's not time-based. Oh, so... Do more damage to baddies. Don't get hit, or you won't. Uh, you have to get the buff again. Yeah, because you have the buff as long as you uh, don't take damage, which is pretty cool. I really like that concept. But yeah, we're getting lots of money. We have 777 sponge tokens, whatever they're used for. I honestly forget. And luckily, it respawns in this level. It doesn't always respawn, though, so be careful when you, uh, have it so you don't lose it. It's not always needed to beat the level, but in this case it is. That's why it spawns back. Whoa, we seen out of the map for a second there. I don't mind that, though, when the camera glitches like that, because we can still see what we're doing. But it, it you know, it's just, it just looks bad. Can we see what we look like? Oh my god, we're so derpy. Come, Sponge Boob, let's go, man. There we go. Now I believe we one-shot enemies, too. Oh. Boom. Hammer time. Oh, right through there, too, man. I feel sorry for you. Not really, because you're plankton robots, clearly. Oh, now that was a glorious double kill. If, if you say otherwise, then man, you don't know the the joy between or between behind getting a sweet artist double kill. Ooh. And there we go. Goodbye, my jellyfish brethren. Do you remember when SpongeBob acted like he was a jellyfish when he lost his identity? Well, it wasn't when he lost his identity, but he didn't really know what he wanted to be. Oh yeah, you can now destroy these since you're strong. Just try and collect as many coins as possible. You can technically go through and collect more if you want to. Like, you can backtrack. But I don't think we need that many. I forget what you get. I think you get like... Oh yeah, you definitely get a health upgrade, that's for sure. And we'll smack this. Which opened up more jellyfish. Now, I do remember there being a secret somewhere. Like, why else would there be that cage down? Oh, never mind, it opened up. I was like, why is there a cage? Oh, never mind, they didn't open up. Oh, there's just coins down there. So, I'm assuming... Oh, 
Ah, stay away from me. Thank you. I'm assuming... Oh yeah, you just break them. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a secret in there. No, it's just the fact that you can break them. So I want the money from it. It's free money, right? Oh yeah, there's a machine that's producing them. That's why there's infinite amounts of robots. Uh. Yeah, this thing right here. Oh, that took more than one hit to kill, but apparently it didn't. It just has a longer death animation than other robots. Oh yeah, this you need to do... I don't know why it's not telling us, but you need to do something to get that. I think it's the boss? I think it's bosses, right? I don't remember. That's that, like, grouchy snail that Spongebob tries to get to replace Gary, but it's not very good. Oh yeah, this one. It's the hammer time power. Oh. Yeah, and then every Spongebob game seems to have, like, a weird little... I don't know if they like us very much. And we'll go and grab another one of these power-ups. We're halfway done killing all the enemies, though, so that's good. Zero? What do you think it is? Yeah, Patrick, you're just weird, man. Wait, is there not... I don't... Maybe there aren't bosses in this game. Like, at least in, in the levels. Not like Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah, and you unlock items that create memories. You also lose all your power-ups, which is really sad, but still. I guess we'll have to do some backtracking to go do the challenges, right? Because I think they're worth a ton of coins, and you will need coins. Like, don't get me wrong, they are needed. So, let's uh, grab some of this. And we're almost done with all the money. Let's just grab this one coin. We're at... Oh, we almost made 1300 So close, but no cigar. There we go, we got our jellyfishing net. Oh god, it's so weird. Congratulations, you've obtained a happiness object. SpongeBob's jellyfishing net. This has been added to your home decorations. I'm not gonna hurt you, little jellyfish. I just want to keep you in a jar on top of my television. I'm gonna chase you, and you, and you, and you, and you, oh, you're a cute one, and you, and I'm gonna chase you all! The Tiki Challenges and Teleport Boxes have been unlocked for this level. Play Tiki Challenges to find more objects. Oh yeah, there's the... the, the meals here. I forgot about that. Uh, what contest does Sandy enter Spongebob into? The uh, anchor tossing. I don't think they called it the anchor tossing competition. They had called it something else. It's like the strongman competition or something like that. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. This uh, Let's Play is definitely super fun. And in the next episode, we'll check out Sandy, which I believe well, I is one of the karate-based uh, memories, obviously. And in the next episode, we we need more tiki once again there. Um, we'll definitely check out more. So remember to join the Patreon and the Discord and links below. And I'll see you guys next time. Leave a like. It's really appreciated. You guys have been actually liking videos like crazy. And you guys have actually been active on the channel. I appreciate it.